On the 16th of July 1945, the United States of America would test the first atomic bomb, codenamed Trinity. This would bring about the beginning of the Atomic Age, and is one of the two major milestones that will bring about the topic of today's video. As for the second milestone, it would happen in 1957 for both the United States and the Soviet Union. The Soviets would launch their R-7 rocket, and America would launch their Atlas rocket. Both the Atlas and R-7 were known as intercontinental ballistic missiles. They were the platforms that were used to launch nuclear weapons across the world. However, both of these vehicles would find more usefulness launching different spacecraft into orbit, which would bring about the space race. And in the same year that the Atlas and R-7 conducted their first test flights, the Soviet Union would be the first ones to launch a man-made satellite into Earth orbit, using a variant of the R-7 rocket. A year later, in 1958, the Americans would get their equalizer with the Explorer 1 satellite. Later the same year, in 1958, the United States Air Force would develop a project to detonate a nuclear bomb on the moon. The culmination of the research and development of this project would be known as Project A119. There were several reasons why they wanted to pursue such a project. The two main things they wanted to gain from this project was the research that detonating a nuclear bomb on the moon would give, as well as the fact that it would improve the morale of the American people. At the time, the Soviets were gaining a quick upper hand in the beginning of the space race, and so the project hoped to show that they were still in the running for the space race. They would use a small low-yield weapon. The initial consideration for the project was unfortunately too heavy for their rocket, and this is why they went with a more lightweight warhead. They would detonate the nuke on the shadowed side of the moon. This would in theory mean it could be seen with the naked eye from the surface of Earth, which would mean it would be impossible to ignore for the Soviets. Unfortunately, for people who wanted to see this, the project was cancelled in 1959, as the launch was quite risky if anything was to go wrong. While several NASA employees would acknowledge the existence of the project, the United States governments have never officially acknowledged it. Whilst we don't have much information on it, we do know that the Soviets had a similar project known as E4, E4 was part of several projects which focuses were to go to the moon. For example, reaching the moon and then sending a spacecraft to the far side of the moon to take photographs of the surface, which would then culminate in the project E4, which was to detonate a nuclear weapon on the moon. For the Soviets, this was used as a show of force against the Americans. For the Soviets, Project E4 was cancelled to almost the same exact reasons as the A119 project. The United States would never get their upper hand in the form of a nuke on the moon, they would instead impart their revenge with the Apollo program. And so instead of America detonating a nuke on the moon, they would land a man on the moon. So hopefully you enjoyed this very different type of video. It was definitely a bit of a pain to make, but I'd say it was definitely worth it. And with that, I'd like to thank our members, Pedro, IC Industries, Ragnarek, Adam Cat, Puggly Wuggly, Bazak, Karnasa, and Sean Plays Too Much for supplying the funding for the music you can hear in this video. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.